identifying the current practice and how adoption works in Michigan today. Some people are saying, though, that this could end up being discriminatory towards you know, gay couples in particular. Do you think that's an issue? I disagree with that 100%. I feel like the laws that are being put forward ones that we're proposing will really increase the diversity of agencies that are out there today. We know when it comes to kids, it's not a one-size-fits-all approach. So what we want to do is make sure we have the most options available. And right now, we feel that the most options are the ones that are currently functioning today. We have an 80% placement rating for children in today's system, and we want to make sure that this success continues into the future. So just make sure, increase the diversity or preserve the diversity? We're going to preserve the current diversity, but it could increase. I mean, more faith-based agencies could come online. Other secular agencies could come online as well. Do you, do you not buy the research that the uh, federal judge adopted in the uh, DeBoer case that said that, that when states do that, it, it tends to tamp down placements? I think when you can, I don't think you can compare one state to another state in specific regards in regards to adoption placement rates. I think the populations are different. There's so many different things to consider with that argument. I think we need to look at Michigan's current system, how it's functioning, it's working successfully, and making sure we continue that into the future. Representative, if it is working successfully, why uh, why do this now? Codify it. Why not? Why not? Are you trying to get ahead of what the Supreme Court might do in the divorce case? I feel we are preserving a successful system that's working today. And that's really the whole impetus behind these bills. Is that a yes? That is my impetus for putting these bills forward, is to codify the current system that I believe is functioning and successful. Well, let me, let me put it another way then. Do you think the fact that the case is hanging out there and what the Supreme Court might do adds to the urgency of, of getting something like this done? I am trying to ensure that the current practices are allowed to continue into the future because it's a successful practice. Governor Snyder has expressed concerns about this, so he won't really say whether he's in support of it. Do you have any sense of how far this package will actually be able to go? I am confidently optimistic that it will go pretty far. I mean, I'm confident that we will definitely get it out of the House. And, I mean, the governor is entitled to his opinion, and I look forward to working with him if he has any concerns. Did he tell you he would sign it? I have not asked him specifically. So do you see any specific threats to the current system as it's functioning now? Do I see any threats? Um, I mean, the current system is functioning and working. Do I see threats coming? There could be threats in any manner. There could be anything that comes up. I know we're operating under a specific circumstance right now. And I just want to make sure that the current system that is functioning today, providing a diversity of agencies, continues into the future. Re reconcile these. Okay. Reconcile these two things. You say the, the the system is working, but Michigan is also being sued in federal court, and the federal judge is saying it's, it's still not there yet over foster care placements. Like I said, the whole point of these bills is to preserve the current system that's functioning and successful today. We're putting Michigan's children first. I have not read that case. And you say the rate, the success rate is 80%? 80% right now because of this unique partnership that we have with public-private agencies and the state. And is there a concern that um, more um, faith-based adoption agencies might be reluctant to participate now because of uh, the lack of this protection? Can you say that again? Do you feel that the there's fact a that lack it's out of there protection? Is that keeping yeah. faith-based adoption agencies right. from, from engaging in the system? I think the faith-based agencies that we have right now have a great relationship with the state and will continue to do so. And if others are interested in coming here, then they can take that up with the department. Thanks so much. Great. Thank you. Thank you.